So here on the stove we've got a few things going. Uh, we have, this is the dried meat, which I have added uh, blueberries and toasted some almonds and then chopped them up pretty finely and toasted some flax seeds and uh, added them in there. The reason it's on the stove is so that on really low heat I can keep everything in there uh, relatively warm so that when I add the suet directly to it, uh, it won't immediately clump and harden and I can actually manage working with it. Now above that I've actually got a second saucepan with my strainer and that's so I can clarify the suet which is currently, if I can take this out, currently bubbling away in here. Now the suet that I get, um, I have two places I get it. Sometimes I'm lucky and my local grocery store will carry it. And sometimes I'm lucky and my butcher will have some. So if you can get some from your butcher, that's awesome. Uh, my guy gives it to me quick ground, and then I do this, uh, and then strain to clarify, and then heat it up there and add it directly to the dried meat so I can make the pemmican. Sorry for missing this step, but it's a little hard to do this using the camera in one hand. So I had the suet clarified uh, after straining it through that strainer. I'll show you the schmutz that came out after it. And then what I did was I added it to the warmed up dried meat and berries and almonds and all that stuff. So this is what I've got right now. You can see the consistency is a bit like a really, really disturbingly thick soup. <laughs> Chunkies, it eats like a meal. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mix this up a little bit more just to make sure that all the suet has touched all the dried meat and then I'm going to pour it into a mold. Now you can either pour it directly into a mold um, or a tin or anything like that so long as you're able to get it out or you can do what I do which is take wax paper put it on the inside of the mold and then pour this hot, uh, very hot in some cases, uh, solution directly into it. So I will pour and then I'll come back. So I've gone ahead and lined my container, in this case just a Tupperware um, with that wax paper. Uh, in case you guys are wondering what this is, this is what came out of the suet. This is the lef leftover stuff after you render the suet successfully. So um, I'll just pour the pemmican directly into this mold and then come back and show you that. Hey guys, and here we have the final product. So this is the pemmican in its mold. Um, I ended up with a little bit more than I had anticipated, so I'm not going to be able to put the lid directly on top. But instead, what I'm going to do is cover it with the wax paper and uh, let it sit. Let it cool down naturally at, until it's at about room temperature, so that'll take about 10 or 15 minutes. And then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and put it in the fridge. Later, what I plan to do is cut it up into slices or basically bars. Um, try and get those, I usually try and get them an ounce to two ounces and then I put them in bags and bring them with me whenever I go out and about and uh, yeah, they're actually pretty tasty, so thanks.